This is Wildcat 20. This is Wildcat 2303 here, and I'm doing another review. Today I'm doing the RX 78-2 version 2 American release. Um, the figure is pretty good. He was one of the last releases in America. Uh, you can tell, and you know this too by the flexibility. So on that note, we'll start off with that. In the head, it can go 360. Um, arms can go all the way around out pretty far straight out like that they can they got a double hinge so they can bend at the elbow uh, swivel wrist he can go all the way around pretty neat thing is the cockpit and you can see all our ray in there one thing the extended mobile suit in action G3 does not have a little character in there. Um, legs can go out that far and back that far. He can double joint so he can kick himself in the back. And like that. And then uh, he's got a swivel foot that can move. And then on the back, kind of makes me sad, is I lost one of the boosters. I don't know where it went. If anyone's got an extra booster, let me know. And I will uh, trade you for it. Give you a couple bucks for it. Um, and the beam sabers do come out. On the accessories, I didn't get them out because I don't, didn't want to dig through my bags for them. But he comes with two trigger hands, two sword hands, and two fists. Um, he comes with one beam javelin. I don't know if this is the right one because I didn't know. I couldn't tell from my bags, but he does come with a beam javelin. Pretty nice. Comes with two beam sabers. Again, I don't know if these are the right ones, but he does come with two beam sabers. Let me put them back. Um, one shield. Kind of unique shield too because it pegs on his arm. Let me see if I can get this. Like that. Or you can hold hold the bottom like that. It also pegs in his back like the show. Um, oh, there goes another, the other booster. He's got a clamp that can go on his butt which holds his bazooka that he came with. Pretty nice bazooka. Right there. Um, he holds his bazooka pretty well too. You see, get it? And then he comes with uh, the standard beam rifle, except this time it's got the swivel on the upper trigger. And then comes with this really long metal ball and chain, or it's called the gun hammer. And I think the best accessory is the ship. Which the core booster with the core lander can pop off. Put it back on there. Um, this guy is pretty hard to find. And when you do find him, he's pretty expensive. I know Joshua sells them, Ganonimo sells them for about 50 bucks on his store. Which I think is a little overpriced. But some people I know are willing to pay that. I paid about 25 when I bought it from Patrick 1969 100% um, complete he's a really good person to buy from too uh, I really like this overall it's my favorite version of the Gundam better I think better than the version 1 or version 2 even though those are pretty unique because they're the first ones and uh, that's all I got to say about this one Keep looking for out for more reviews. I'm doing an, a G, an MSI I haven't seen reviewed at all on YouTube, and it's pretty hard to find too. So uh, let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe. See you guys later.